what, what I see that's driving um, what I think some of our companies have done, what our company has done, and how I look at new entrepreneurial opportunities. So if, you know, if, if I was you know, sitting and looking for a new project to take on as an entrepreneur, um, you know, I see kind of a, a, a decoupling of the way services are provided. I see kind of um, big companies in, in any industry that have been successful are packaging things in a certain way. Um, I, I think the, the best example of this, I, I think, is kind of as a model what iTunes has done for songs. And it's not the fact that they've made it accessible and all in a single marketplace, but it's the fact that you can just buy the one song that you actually want and not the whole CD. And so people will spend you know, three times as much potentially, I don't know what the stats are, obviously doing well, will spend a lot of money to buy all the individual songs they want as opposed to spending less money on the three CDs that really don't contain all the songs that they want in the first place. So um, as Bill was saying, it's, all, it's kind of this user revolution. The users are driving what we're delivering. And when I look for new opportunities, um, it, it's all about just how, um, where is a technology not accessible to someone because it's packaged in the wrong way or delivered in the wrong way. And software as a service has, has done a nice job of, in many ways, lowering the barrier to entry. So you know, I want uh, a ton of technology, let's say, for, uh, um, to ma manage my customer records. So I'm going to go out and buy Salesforce. Well, Salesforce makes this presentable to me in a way that if I'm a two-person company, I just pay for my two people. And I get, you know, I can use the kind of limited stuff that I'm going to use. I want to put a profile in there. I want to email through Salesforce. I want to track it. Now, they know if I'm a big company, I'm probably going to use a lot more features, and they're going to charge me a little more for that. So it's all about, it, they're making it accessible. The, the, the new business models are making it accessible, giving people exactly what they want. People don't want to buy the entire A to Z package these days. Everyone is getting smarter. Information's making it all more accessible. Um, and they just say, I want this, and I want this, and I'm definitely not going to pay you for all that crap in the middle. I have no interest in that. So I, I see that as where the kind of future opportunity exists for entrepreneurs on the web is uh, finding old, stodgy companies that can't figure out that their users don't want half the crap they're selling and just want to buy the stuff they actually want to use.